Okay, so there are a couple things I'm super, oh, hello, sorry, I'm like skidding across the kitchen floor. A couple things I'm really excited about for today. his daddy. <laughs> Who's that? <gasps> You're so handsome. Hi guys. Uh, so the babies are awake. Um, I'm sitting here <laughs> in Matthew. So fantastic. Just getting um, some word in while watching the kids. So it's uh, basically like a sentence and then run to the other room with the babies. Hi cutie pie. What are you watching? Oh, shh, sorry, are you trying to watch your show? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shh. Do you need more food? Crackers and cheese. You want crackers and cheese? Yeah. Yeah? Is it empty? What happened? Did you eat it all? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I have some cheese and crackers. It's been on this cheese and crackers obsession lately. <gasps> Hi, Kingston. Oh, are you playing with the plate too? Yeah? Oh, thank you. Thank you, you just love this camera. I should just let you walk around with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cheese and crackers, coming right up. Okay guys, here's the deal. Matthew is such a fantastic loaded book. And I feel like, hold that thought. I can do cheese and crackers and talk about Matthew. I feel like with every season, with every new season that um, I go through, and I say this about the whole Bible, but I think Matthew is so, um, awesome because we get to really experience Jesus and his miracles and his faith and his action. I feel like every time I read it, I completely get something new out of it. And it goes into every new season. And right now it's like a crazy season in this world. Um, so many people just have like a different view, a different opinion on so many things. Matthew is a really great book to bring people together because it was a time where there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of distraction. Um, you had the Pharisees who were so against Jesus, these religious teachers who could quote, you know, the their book back and forth, who could quote all these different, um, you know, scriptures of the time, but yet couldn't recognize Jesus when he was right in front of them. And I just feel like we're at a time where it is confusing and distracting and there's so many opinions that we have to try our best to focus on Jesus because he is right in front of us. So don't let all these other things distract you or deter you or remove your faith. Oh, hello. There's no reason to ever let your faith be removed. This is the time where we gotta like laser focus in on Jesus. So that's just what I'm gonna say. Take a look at Matthew, so fantastic. Matthew 9, verses 35 through 38. Check it out. Okay, so there are a couple things I'm super, oh, hello, sorry, I'm like skidding across the kitchen floor. A couple things I'm really excited about for today. Um, we are doing an Instagram live with Jared Turner from Young Living. Such a big deal, he's such a cool guy. And you guys know how we feel about our essential oils, that company is absolutely amazing. So if you missed it, it is on my Instagram, or it should be on my Instagram, so you can go check out uh, some of the fun things that we will be doing. And then second, you guys know how we're big on just incorporating more of a natural lifestyle. I wouldn't say we are 100% clean, because there's still things that I enjoy, like my Maui pie and the awesome cake balls that we had for Kingston's birthday. So there are still little goodies. So this week, in a couple days, I'm also gonna be doing an Instagram Live with this woman from Australia. Her name is Rebecca Edwards. She is so fantastic, she's so sweet, and she's also a naturopath. So, um, a, nat a naturopath. Hope I'm saying that right. Naturopath? Yes, <laughs> that should be it. 
small brain. Yeah, and she's just gonna uh, teach us things about how to boost our immune systems, how to do it in a really natural way. Some of the things that are actually getting in the way of our immune systems that we do daily right now uh, because of everything that's happening in the world and we don't even realize that it's killing our immune system. So um, that's happening in a couple days. So not sure when this will be airing, but again, it will be a, st a static post also on my Instagram so you guys can check it out. So many things, I'm just so excited. I love, I love being able to share the things that we love with you guys. I know it's just silly, but hopefully even in the silliness, we can bring joy, we can bring love and, and laughter, and I think that's the whole point, right? We gotta be lifting each other up and, um, and spreading peace and joy, because that's kinda, kinda what life's about, harmony. Anyway, love you guys. Okay, moms out there who sometimes just need a little extra worship time, a little extra singing, um, this is what I do. I am literally listening to amazing worship music. I am singing, but trying not to bother my children who are watching their television program. So hold on, I have to push pause because I can't hear myself. Oh, there we go. So literally, if you're worried about, like you wanna be able to play some worship music, but so many other things are happening in the house, that doesn't mean that you have to stop worshiping. Just put it in your ear and keep going about your day. Praise God while you're doing the dishes. Praise God while you're doing arts and crafts with your kids. Like. There is no, like, yes, it's fantastic when you can sit down and be alone with God, but sometimes the reality of that, it just doesn't get to happen. So praise God in those moments. Praise God whenever you get a chance, because that's how your faith grows. And then you'll recognize him in the little things, in every little thing that you do. And it just makes your experiences with your kids that much more powerful and incredible. It makes your experiences, uh, maybe like mundane chores actually awesome because you realize maybe the things that you have, the, like the fact that you can just do your laundry right there at home. Praise God in every moment. I hope, uh, I know I'm talking about Jesus a lot this morning, but just reading and worshiping and I just really want to share it with you guys. These are eggs from the chickens in our backyard. Super bright yellow. What, baby? You want some milk? I'll get you some milk right now. Yep, you gotta slow cook it. That's the secret. But it's such a pain in the butt sometimes when your kids are hungry to slow cook the eggs. Ah! Hello, okay, I had a wardrobe change. We had a, a little interview that we had to do today. Not had to do today, it was super fun. It's something that we were really looking forward to. But I wanted to look a little bit more put together than just my tank top and crazy dirty hair. And you know, I just wanted to be a little freshened up for it. But, da da! I am actually going to attempt to do a DIY. It's for um, my Oil Inspired Instagram page, but I figured I would let you guys join in on the DIY, because why am I only gonna share it with the Oil Inspired page? How selfish would that be? So I'll let you guys kind of see what we're making today. I'm gonna be using a recipe from this book, Essential Oils, Ancient Medicine, and hopefully it's something that you guys can follow along with as well if you wanna do it. Let's go pick some bananas. We are in full swing, guys. I have a mess. So before we do the DIY that I was talking about, babe, do you want to fill everyone in on what, what you've been doing? With my DIY? So our internet's been a little spotty. We've been getting a 27? Yeah, 27, <laughs> 27 downloads, like, like 400. <laughs> Hi. We so, hear you. So we we're wiring you. everything. We fixed, <laughs> what, come here. we fixed the Wi-Fi problem, but now we're wiring. So basically, I learned about this thing called Mocha. And you, and you can use all of your like uh, house's cable wiring. Uh, uh, it, it works best with RG6 cable. This house had had, had RG6, so I got these awesome network uh, 
Basically, it allows you to send Basically, he's the saying he's a nerd and he all can the do house. all this and he's amazing. So, so I'm redoing, look at your show over there. I'm like redoing that whole, our whole little thing. And... Oh, I, the oh, fact oh, that oh, he oh. can do it, I feel like he's speaking a foreign a language. Kiss? I don't understand it at have all. Have a kiss? We give daddy a kiss? Have a kiss? Open oh, mouth kiss. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 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 what, what happened, hey, buddy? Hey, hey, hold on. Look at me. We don't scream, okay? I think it's in your toy area. Oh, okay. Daddy's gonna go to the attic again. Good luck, Daddy. <laughs> then any, I don't. Any last words? So sad. Wow. <sighs> Thank you. Okay guys, I think we're making toothpaste. I'm looking at all the ingredients and I'm pretty sure I have all of them. So let's make some toothpaste together. Let's go check the closet. I have all sorts of goodies in this closet. So ingredients, we're gonna need a fourth a cup of coconut oil, one tablespoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of bentonite clay, 10 drops of peppermint oil, 10 drops of clove essential oil, one tablespoon of xylitol, or half a, ta or half, uh, a tablespoon, sorry, no, half a teaspoon of stevia, I can't read. Um, here we go, and here's my DIY box where I keep things like um, zinc oxide, which is how I make SPF, uh, moisturizer, um, I have bentonite clay, little, bottles and things for my DIYs for the toothpaste. I would say probably a larger bottle, larger one than this. If you have a tube, that's fantastic. But for the toothpaste, I would go a little larger. I'm gonna see if I have one. I think I do. I don't have the proper size that I would like. <gasps> you guys, we should also make a face serum. I think it's actually an anti-aging serum. I'll have to look it up on the thing, but we'll, we'll use one of these for our um, face serum. Okay, let's get some peppermint and clove. Now, if you are using Young Living, um, Vitality Line is okay to ingest, so you can always put that in there. Um, but because I know peppermint and clove is fine to ingest, I'm gonna be using this. And where, oh, I hear him yelling. What's the matter? Peppermint and clove, lavender, frankincense, vitamin E, and carrot seed. Goodies. What happened, babe? Just learning a lot. Did you? I cut a cord back in the day that I probably shouldn't have. Inside here. In that box? Yeah. Yep. You okay? Well, the plan is changing. Always changing. You got this, I believe in you. I'm gonna make you some toothpaste. Make me some toothpaste, thank you so much. All right guys, I pulled out all the ingredients. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna be using for the toothpaste. We have bentonite clay, uh, xylitol, sodium bicarbonate, or basically baking soda, um, coconut oil, and then peppermint and clove. So, let's do this. Okay guys, since I'm bringing you along on my journey, that um, this is, that made zero sense. Since I'm bringing you guys along with me on this oil-inspired journey, um, this is getting posted to the page. I figured I would at least let you guys see what was going on. So I'm gonna probably, it's probably gonna be sped up, um, but I'll make sure to put the recipe in the, um, in the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> in the vlog. And then you guys can always go to the oil-inspired page to watch the video video, but here we go. update on what's going on with you. <laughs> Take that big bite. You know. How are you doing? I don't think he was prepared. Not prepare. Not what I wanted. Well, I bought a bunch of stuff to make it, to like wire everything. Well, now we can return it. Now I can return it. So you can return it. Say something. Yeah. Um, it was a bummer because I had a whole plan. I waited like six days for the stuff to come in. Sorry, babe. It's all right. You know what? It could be worse. We still have Wi-Fi. Mm. That was a really good. big bite and I couldn't cut it. So I was like, well, whatever, I'll just stick this in my mouth. It is so hard to chew. 
Cool. Good talk. Good talk, guys. Bye. Well, guys, the kitchen is clean. Vacuumed. The kids are asleep. Oh, except I failed. I didn't clean their room. Well, we'll get to it. So now it's mommy and daddy time to play Call of Duty. Hard line. Hard line, which means no lagging. Carlos set it up, so no more lagging. Anyway, love you guys. We're gonna go to sleep. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I guess this vlog, this vlog continues. This vlog Listen, continues. It's the never ending vlog. It just goes on and on and on oh and gosh. on and on and on and on. Tomorrow. Do you have any words of wisdom for the day? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? No, I don't. Oh, I'm try. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed. Try again. That's what happened to me today. I didn't succeed many times. But let's see how fast our internet is now, so let's go. Bye!